Hi, this is Suzanne Clegg of SpiritGate.com with another tip for how to do distance healing. Um, so when I do my, um, I have a, a free Facebook group called SpiritGate Cancer Support, and every Friday we do a distance healing together. And one of the things I'm constantly, um, not constantly, but frequently telling newcomers is to not not stare at the healing, to just let it flow. So this waterfall, which is called Double Falls because there's another fall way up there. I don't think you can see. I don't know why you can't see it, but anyway. Um, it's more like finding a flow and witnessing it. You don't create it. Now you can create a flow in your body of energy. And even with distance healing, you can imagine um, that there's healing going to the person. You can imagine a white light around them. You can, you can actually generate chi in your body and um, really sense flow and healing. And I'm here to tell you that that's nice, but it doesn't work, doesn't get you very far with cancer. And it's, it's sort of like a temporary feel good, usually. If you are the one that is generating those feelings. Um, the, those feelings are not usually accompany genuine healing, but it's almost like you find them, you don't create them. And if you can do that, it's a, it, then those feelings of chi and light and all the inner fireworks um, are indicative that something's actually happening. But you can go from your ego and make them happen and yeah, your patient will feel a little better and maybe the pain will go away, but um, the deep, 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 complex place that actually facilitates the healing is so much not that. <laughs> it's just not that. It feels like nothing. It doesn't feel like fireworks. The fireworks come as a response to this thing sometimes, but you don't have to have all the fireworks. So today's tip is about attuning to a flow. So if we look at this waterfall, I can kind of just stand here and feel it flowing, feeling the water flowing down. And so how I do the distance healing is I, I tune in, I, I think of, of the person I'm, person or the pet I'm working with, and then I, I just look around in my inner psyche, I guess, to a place where there is a flow, where the intention to heal, and because the idea is that the healing is happening and we're sort of blocking it, if that's an idea that, that I use to, to help find it. And I, I just sort of trust that it's there and I look for it. And then when I find it, when I find the flow, I don't create the flow, I find it, I witness it. And that witnessing seems to be, have an amplification of its effect. And I think that's why distance healing, one of the ways that distance healing works, like if you're, it's like doing without doing. All right, good. So that's my tip for today. And um, it's about attuning with the flow. All right, bye-bye.